Now it's time to fight, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We live here. We got game. Warren went versus Cortez. Let's see if his battle rap skills can transfer you know, into the game. Let's go. It's like Salomel versus Cervantes. Oh, dang. Oh, man. Oh, man. Come on. Let's go. Oh, my God. Don't let him get a perfect goal, you say. Oh, my God, say. Yo, you let him get a perfect Yo, yo, what's up, what's up? It's the one and only Hip Hop Gamer. We got game, man. We here. So first off, man, as you can see, I got some important people with me today. You know what I'm saying? So to my right, I got my dude, the one and only killing BET right now, Warren Wint. What yeah, up? Yeah, Talk yeah. to him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We here, we here, we here. We locked in, we live. That's what Elmer, I'm talking about. yeah, what's up? How you feeling? I'm good, man. Marvelous. I'm with family. That's what I'm talking Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm with family, so it's good. We That's here. what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, look, to the left of me, you know what I'm saying? He's someone that if I had to battle, I would just say, you know what? Just take the mic. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to <laughs> see you on that level. You know, let's play the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's it. My dude, the one, me, the man. only, the legendary, you know what I'm saying? Murav. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. <laughs> Cortez in the building. Yeah, How you yeah, feel, baby? Yeah, very good. Very blessed today. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for coming through, man. I appreciate you, man. How yeah. you feel, man? Good. So, cool. I'm going to start with you, man. Talk to me. Now, we had conversations about, you know, battle rappers and the, the stigma about battle rappers can't make songs. You got a lot of songs. You let me, like, really... Like, you put me on, bro. Like, you got a lot of material. Appreciate that. So, what I want to ask you is... When you're in the mode of, you know, battling, but then you're in a mode of m making music, how do you switch? You know what I'm saying? Because not because once people is on one mode, it's kind of hard for them to like, you know, very a lot, lot of people is one dimensional. Mm -hmm. What makes you unique, man? Like how you able to put it um, together like that? It's crazy because like I feel like right now at this very, very moment, like today, like I'm in that mode. Like um, I got to battle this this Friday in London. Mm. It's, right. So. I'm preparing for that battle, and at the same time, one of my producers sent me this beat like two days ago, and the hook is crazy, and I got the song in the back of my head, <laughs> and I want to write to the song, but I got to get this battle out so I can memorize this before I get to London. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. it's like it's wow, a constant it's, it's a constant tug <clears throat> of war, you know? Um, music flows a lot better be for me personally because it's like it's more of a emotion of how I feel I write mm -hmm. records compared to how I feel for that day if I went out last night and I turned up and it was a crazy night I might talk about that night if I'm going through something I might talk about that so really with music it's more about the emotion battle rap though is more or less about this is my opponent this is who I'm scheduled to battle I'm gonna lock in on you mm -hmm. you know so it doesn't matter how I feel I have to build up that anger or that or that angle and and all that stuff so it's like it's real technical with battle rap but more or less with the music i like to feed off my emotion how i feel and i feel like the music comes out a lot better that way mm, i like that. i don't I try like, to force it and i love the way you broke it down because um you understand how to prioritize the way you're going to deliver whether it's battling or making the music and I, I love that because you have a sense of knowing who you are so that the fans could get the best version of you. And yeah. I think that is genius. So Warren, what I want to talk to you about, I know you got an album and stuff like that, and you let me hear some songs, but there was a song that you let me hear called Mad. Mm -hmm. So what I would love for you to you know, really elaborate with the audience is, in this day and age, when you're making an album, a lot of times people, they don't really appreciate the body of work anymore. You know, it seems like they just want to ride on what's popular it could be something that it could be real dumb but it's cool so they jump on it mm -hmm. what what about you make you still care about the music and the heart of it and the soul of it because i heard all of that in that song mad talk to me about that well um it's funny because right now 2018 the war that's in front of you has went through a lot of things you know mm -hmm. and that along the way these things have molded me into the person that created that album, that oversaw that album, that made sure the album sounded the way it sounded before it went out to the Absolutely. world. You know, as we got 
my big brother Cortez here, you know what I'm saying? He'll tell you we've known each other for some time and I've grown. You know what I'm saying? Like Absolutely. I've grown. And I think a part of that is going through things in life. Like even so, I'm a father. You know what I'm saying? So it's like Oh, oh, oh. That yeah, Jalen, what's up? I love you, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, you know, music is very important because it's history. You know what I'm saying? When we put this out, whatever we records we put out, videos we put out, it'll surpass us. So mm. it's important to to leave a, a legacy that not only you could be a proud of, but that can impact the people in a way that can progress them forward, whether it's an individual or a community or a society or whatever you're talking to or trying to reach with whatever record. We talking about, you know what I'm saying? So I love that, man. I don't think about you've grown a lot, bro. Like, I, I, I love it, man. Word. That's that's crazy, man. Yeah. So now, core. I know you got a battle coming up, uh -huh. but one thing I want to talk to you about is a battle uh, that you had with your boy, uh, like Math Hoffa, when it was you and Math Hoffa, and y'all did that car skit. And um, that oh. joint to this day is legendary to see, like you know, like y'all go through that. I want to ask you, from a battle rap standpoint, what other two uh, uh, battle rappers that you probably wanted to battle that you and Math Hopper together didn't get a chance to battle, but you would still love to see happen? Um, I definitely think Gun Titles, Ooh. you know, Surf and Rock. Yo, especially with Math, you and Math, with oh my God. I feel like, I feel like that'll be so crazy. And I also feel like Marvin Quest. I think Marvin Quest, they, they, they're one of the best tag teams. Word. Like, they're legends with it. Yeah. You understand? And um, why not? I think if we take those two teams out, it's like, we already have two two classics. Yeah. You know, we, we I feel like we're 3-0. and oh, You know what I mean? Mm. Um, but we have a classic with NWX. Yeah. Or DNA and Sean. I feel like we have a classic with Rummy. And ill will, yeah, you know, um, and then we took on Verb and Young yeah. Ill, like we did the Millie Rock, like that was, we yo. always have moments. You feel me? So it's like, if it ain't Surf and Rock, then we might as well line up Marvin Quest. You know what I mean? But gotcha. the only two guys we we got Tunnel Vision for if it if if we do it. Yo, gun titles, yo, yeah, yo, one. gang, gang. Make sure you stay loaded up. I don't, I, I he, <laughs> like you understand. See, y'all watching this, but I'm right next to him, mm -hmm. and like. The first question, he didn't look like how he looked now when yeah. I asked this question. Like, his yeah. eye, like, it's crazy, man. Trust me. Like, I think that gun titles definitely should happen. Definitely. So, now, Warren, now this question I feel is very, very important. When it comes to not just writing music, but living mm -hmm. what you do, just the experience. Because you said you've grown a lot and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, I know you're trying to make it in the world of you know music and and I see you doing so many things on BT. I'm looking at the music videos. Everything is coming along. But what's one moment that you could uh, you know go back to, whether it's in recent memory or a long time ago, where you felt like this mic right here in your hand, you was just about to like throw that joint out the window and just say f it. You know what I'm saying? Like like what was that breaking point that made you actually continue? To follow your dreams and follow your passion, because I know we all get that get, get those moments where it's like, you know, why am I doing this? <laughs> you know what I mean? So talk to me. Yo, that's a that's a good question. I'll be honest with you, man. Psst. All right, so this was probably like last year. Um, I had gotten into some trouble, and um, I found myself, you know, up at, at on the boat. You know what I'm saying? No, nobody and, wants to be on that. Boat. Right. Oh, and, I got you. I got nasty. you. Right. So for me, it's like, I, you know, I grew up always thinking about it like, man, why would people glorify being in jail or being up there, you know, or man, like, you know what I'm saying? Just have all these thoughts about it. You hear so much about it. You watch so many uh, depictions of it in media. You don't know what to think. But when I was actually there, yeah, I just felt bugged out because I was like, wow, like I really didn't think for a second and it brought me here. Like mm -hmm. I took this part of life for granted and just played with it and got here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm in here though. Wow. Seeing my people, seeing our people go through so much, so much despair, so much you no know, struggle. And I'm just like, wow, like this is crazy. We gotta be able to do better. So when I was there, I told myself, I said, Lord, please, you know, whatever it is, 
Cause it was trying to give me a couple days, like for for nothing, like like a month, two months, just for a suspended license, whatever. You know, um, pay your tickets. Um, but uh, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> facts. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, so it just blew my mind, and I was like, yo, I got a son. You know, I I, I got people that care about me. I got. You know, my manager, my big brother that's invested. I got people that really, you know, that people that, that like yourselves that, that work in this culture to do something positive, to progress it forward, mm-hmm. that care about me. And I'm like, man, I, I got to get it together. So at that point, I was like, yo, I come out, savage time. And since then, you know, you've seen all the stuff you've been seeing. Yo. Be, you know what I mean? Like, so, you, you, know, you, like, you know what it is? Like, for somebody that know you, man, like, that... You what you just did right there, that whole moment, and also sharing that moment, like you took your own life back. Like you didn't allow the world or society to dictate who you are and what you're gonna become. That moment you took it back, and now it's in God's hands for you to do and be the best version of who you are forever. I love you, bro. I love that, man. I love that because people need to hear that, man. Seriously. So for the final joint, uh, for the final question to you, Core. Now, this right here, I think is very interesting because I'm going to take it back to like when you first ever wrote a rhyme. Okay. All right. When you first ever wrote like a rhyme, stuff like that, whether it's good or whether it's garbage, whatever it is and stuff like that, like after you wrote it, what was like the immediate feeling that you had? Knowing that you created something, something that came from you, your mind, your feel, whatever. But that moment where after you wrote it and you spit it and you just did whatever you had to do, how did that make you feel knowing that you created something? Um, It was motivating more than anything because I figured out it was an avenue. It was a way to express myself. Mm. It was a way to express myself. And then when I built up the courage and I learned the rhyme... What really gets you motivated is when you actually rap it to somebody else. So we all chilling on a handball court. We out on the block, and I just let it fly. Wow. And just to see what people's reaction was. And when dudes was like, yo, all right. You know what I mean? I I, I F with that. Like, yeah, that's what's up. Then it's like, oh, word. Then I went home and started writing again. You know what I mean? And then it got to the point where, like, I'll be chilling on the block and I might have a little pad in my backpack. Yeah. Or, you know what I mean? Coming home from school, you know, you got the, the black and white meat yep, yep, yeah, folded yeah, yeah, in you your back know. pocket. Full of bags, the front and back. Yeah, front yeah, and yeah exactly. Back. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I just started letting letting the pen flop, you know? And from there, it became lunch lunchroom legend. Oh, you know what I mean? Like and the, 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 you know you what can't mean? never go wrong with the lunchroom, sir. <laughs> so that's my You know, and then after that, it was just... Exactly. You feel me? So it was it, it was lit. We used to have a whole table, a whole table. Everybody just be spitters, and people would just be going through their bo- going through notebooks, pages, That's crazy. pages. I love it, man. You feel me? So it, it was super lit and, and, and official. That's what you I'm know talking what I mean? about. So, so I love that. See, I, I love asking questions like that because um, I just feel like yeah, I, sometimes I don't think y'all understand how valuable you know y'all are. To somebody that's just sitting down wanting to do something but not making the move. And the things that y'all say can make them make that move. And that's why I ask questions like that. And I appreciate the answers that y'all give, man. Word. So for the final question uh, for Warren Went, yes, like, sir. <laughs> what does your name mean to you? And what I mean by that is a lot of rappers, you know, they they make up names to embody right. who they are. But then you got certain rappers that just keep their name, you know, like, you know, like Cortez, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you know like, no We're living Vegas, examples like of that. that. You know what I mean? So like, so, literally, you know, what does your name, you know, mean to you? And I don't mean just in music and stuff like that. I'm talking about just any day, just waking up in the morning, you know, you're here. What does Warren Went mean to you, bro? When usually when I introduce myself to people, I always say, you know, what's going on? My name is Warren Wint. That's the name that my mom gave me, so that's the name I'm gonna give to y'all. And that's literally what I mean by it. It's not even like a selling point. Like it's not even like, oh, you know, like really, what made me run with my name? Um, when I was in high school, I had a meeting with Columbia, and um, it didn't go too well, you know. But um, what I took from that meeting was that. I was like, you know what? I came here inspired by a culture and emulated that. Mm. Now I got to <coughs> disparage that image, disparage that 
ideology and craft up a whole new meaning as to why I need to be in this culture. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So my name is that. It's it's my legacy. You know, Wayne said it. He said, you know, in the hood, my face a coupon. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like I feel like everything that I do, good and bad, all relates down to my name, to who I am, to what it means, and how it means. You know, and how it's defined is the actions. It now was, I'm gonna tell you. Now that not only was that an amazing uh, answer and, and just your energy towards it, I want y'all to pay attention to something um, between Cortez and Warren. All the all the stuff that they had to say in this episode just now. I really pray seriously that y'all take so much out of this because a lot of times people feel like who they are ain't enough because of the world that we live in. And they just prove the world wrong because we live in the world, but we don't have to be of the world. You understand what I'm saying? We got game. So Caliber 6 is up next. We're going to see. We're going to get this work. Oh, Let's man. go, man. The one and only hip hop. Let go, you Oh, man. Round two. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, yo, look, look, look. What are you, what are you yeah. about to happen? I'm about to kill this dude. I don't son. know what you're talking about. I'm about to you know what I'm talking about. So you know what I'm talking six. about. I don't know what you're talking six. about. So Caliber 6, he's about to go down. Listen, we live here. We got yet. game. Co the game ain't even out yet, but y'all gonna see the Come on, tell him, tell him, tell him why you alive, bro. No, 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 no. Tell him why you alive, yeah, bro. Let's go, you man. <laughs> so look, so we tell him why do, you alive, so bro. We do a, I rap. Yeah. <laughs> I rap, I rap. So, I rap right, too. Right, right. So look, we I about rap. to do a. So we about to do a best uh, two out of three. Me, and my man Warren went. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you cop the album. Uh huh. Stuff like Quietest that. cap out now on all streaming platforms. You go and do that. Let's you know what go. Saying? And now we about to play some Soul Calibur Six. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Let's go. Who y'all picking? Uh, Who y'all rocking I'm, I'm, with? I'm, I'm, oh, oh, you asking? Oh, you asking? I'm as as nah. well. <laughs> oh, it's over. Asking. Let's go. Mm -hmm. It's over. All right. Listen, man. Best two out of let's three. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. Nasty work. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. No mercy. Damn. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, his name is Hip Hop Gamer. He don't even got a real name. His name is just Hip Hop Gamer. Yeah. Ah, let's go. Okay. Let's go. All right, hold let's on. Hold go. on. Hold on. Let's go. Hold on. Hold on. Son, this is what I do. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Do. Let's go. Hold on. That's all good. He That's all good. Let's go. Today. The game ain't out yet. Hold so on. He let's go. Practiced this. His name is Hip Hop Gamer. Okay. Don't get no excuses. No right. excuses, cub. Ah. Uh, you do the same move. That's the same move you was doing against me. You try. Ah. Uh, no, I'm not. It's predictable. Ah. Uh, let's go. Done deal. Done deal. Oh, See, I don't even Over. know how to do that. Oh my Over. god. Over. Let's go, baby. See, I don't even know how to do that. How you do that? Let's go. We're gonna go one more time. Nah, nah. How do you do that, though? How do you do that? Though? How do you do that? even the best hit, out of three. Hit, wow, wow. Sweet. Look, this is what you do. Hit R2 when you have a, a bar up. Yeah, I mean, not yet. Like, oh. you know, you, you wasted it. <laughs> he said you wasted it. <laughs> Damn, it's good. Yeah, it's ugly for you. It's ugly for you. Damn. It's ugly. Ah! Yo, Warren, you trash. Yeah. Well, you blocked that, though. Sneaky. Ah! Sneaky. Ah! Let's go. Damn. Damn. Let's go. Tell him, tell him, tell him what we doing again. Tell him what we doing again. We got game. Hip hop gamer. Whipping that ass. Warren went. Let's go. Quiet is kept for real. Yeah, quiet is <laughs> kept for real. I just became his new album. Quiet is kept for real. Oh my so, God. He's That's killing you, bro. One, two, three. The, the bridge. bridge. Now, look, man. Here's what we do on the bridge. The whole idea of this is just to bring people together from all walks of life and to talk and share about things that they've gone through, but how they can, you know piggyback off that energy to help one another so that's what's that's what we do here on we got game this is the bridge this is how we're going to start it off i got two things i want to say the first thing is it's a question but it's for both of y'all okay. now i want to know what does love mean to you 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 first cortez what does love mean to you bro love means you gotta be it's like everything's on the table 
you you yeah, all your secrets everything about you it doesn't matter who you are you're gonna be loved you're gonna be there like mm. like when you love somebody it could be you're sure to your spouse it could be your seed or whatever it's never changing mm. it's like uh, it's unconditional but at the same time it's like never wavering it's it's solid it's it's everything you understand love has to be everything because if you're not going to be and able to put your all in then what's the point then what's the point what's Warren, the point what does love mean to you bro ditto Oh, like, small, like, small, ditto. That was small. I mean, yeah, nah, yeah. like, like, literally, I'm hearing big bro talk, and I'm just like, yeah, yep, yep, unconditional. That it's was not it. Gonna that, change. that was the punchline. Yeah. I mean, straight up, like, it's it's actions, is 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 no question, is is you know, right like, or wrong. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like you could be mad at somebody and still got love for them. It's yeah, like, absolutely. yo, yeah, yo, you messed up. I'm gonna let you know you messed up. But I still rock with you. I still got love for you. It's dead. Like, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? So it's like, when you love somebody, it's like that. It's like, you can mess up. You could do anything, but it's still going to be there. And that's what By real love is. Exactly. Yeah, that love is still going to be there. Like, it's peace. You know now, what I'm saying? So the topic that I want y'all to touch on, mm -hmm. this whole Kanye West and Donald Trump situation, mm -hmm. MAGA hats, all this other stuff, when you see this, what's your initial reaction and also what do you feel is your final thought on it and the reason why i say that is because even though it's something political it's not political either like like it to me when i look at it it's a scenario where it's like it could be very scary because i feel like so many people whether it's a girl getting butt shots trying to impress people that they don't even care about or people going broke to impress somebody and then that person wound up not loving them. And then now they blaming the world. And then their world goes. Like, it's a very scary situation. So because of y'all influence and who y'all are and the fact that y'all create art, I would love to know what y'all think initially, looking at this Kanye Trump situation, and also your final thought on it. I'll let you, I'll let you start on that one, Warren. Initially... I just felt like Kanye was bugging. Like, <laughs> like I ain't gonna lie. Like, like I'm I'm somebody who believes that, you know, our minds are so powerful that we create the world that we live in. You know, right. it's literally, you know, um, a figment and kind of in our of our imagination, even though it's reality. So, with that being said, you know, I seen that. I'm like, yo, man, he's he's bugging. He's tripping. You know what I'm saying? But then again. That's the world that Kanye lives in. Like, he does things, I think, sometimes purposely, you know what I'm saying, or on purpose to gain attention, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I yeah. feel like that's his whole thing. Just like how certain artists today, they love to troll and things yeah, like that's, that's a popular that's, thing. That's a I literally feel like that's Kanye's san sanity, you know what I'm saying? So my final thought on it is more so just like, I hope that we as a people realize that both Kanye and Donald Trump have been empowered by us. Mm, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally. That's crazy. Yo, that sounded bad, right? <laughs> Yo, I'm for real, though. That's they, crazy. They, we empowered yeah. them. Think yeah, about it. We, we, between us here, we at least like one Kanye album ever. Yeah. Ever that's true. You know what I'm saying? That's true. And, and as far as Donald Trump, we not may not support him, but there's a whole big percentage of people yeah, that, that was on it. But that, and you before know? we saw all the stuff that we saw, a lot of people was following him because of the money he was making. Yeah. Exactly. And so in turn, yo, go ahead, Cole. <laughs> like, to be honest with you, that, to yeah. be honest with you, I think the Trump and um and Kanye situation, it shows what happens when you're starved for attention i feel mm. like both these guys have been in the spotlight for so long they only feel comfortable in the spotlight i don't think them mm. two as individuals sure. feel comfortable by themselves in a room i think they're only comfortable in front of a camera like wow, they, it's shallow it's shallow because you can just see the sensitive stuff because both of them can't take criticism both of them have to be on the camera both of them don't think before they speak F facts you understand super facts you understand so it's like oh the camera's on 
all right, I know I'm going to get attention for it. They don't care if it's good or bad as long as they get the attention. And I feel like that's what's scary. The fact that we empower them because of that. Mm. You understand? Like, that's where the, the, the fine line is crossed. It's not like neither one of them can sit there and be like, yo, man, I don't put out five classic albums. I'm Kanye West. I have a good woman at home. I got kids. You know what? I don't need this no more. Jay Z's one of my best friends. Let me just chill. Right, you can't right. see that. You see now that he's not like a, 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 a main artist no more. You know, now he's like respected as a legend, but he's not like a current artist. Yeah. Starting to mess with him. He's trying to still be relevant, which I understand the, the spirit of competition as an artist. Right. But to what extent? You don't want to yeah. be that guy that's trying to stay relevant. You don't want to be that guy. And it looks like that. And he's trying to do it by all means and all he really doing is chipping away at his legacy and ruining his fan base as far as donald trump he became the president which is crazy crazy he's solidified in in the history books and even that is not enough for him because you can tell just how his demeanor and how he walks and how he carries himself yeah i'm the president but I got to explain myself when it comes to all these things because I don't want people saying bad things about me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you're that sensitive. Like, bro, you're the president of the United mm -hmm. States. Yeah. Like, like <laughs> you're in the history books. Whether it's four years, eight years, you're in the history yeah. books. Shut up. <laughs> that's it. Like, that's like, you know, that, that like, like, that like the perfect way to end this. Yeah. Shut up. Like, um, I, I'm going to just end it with this. Uh, the, the reason why I really wanted to have that uh, conversation is because I want people to understand is that just because you're in a certain position doesn't necessarily mean that you're the most powerful because what you think is power could actually be the weakest thing you're experiencing mm -hmm. but what power is this i got mad love for cortez i got mad love for Warren went and i'm honored that they're here and this segment is the bridge because it's designed to bring people together so i brought this together so y'all can enjoy it, but also learn from it. And also we're going to have fun with it. To me, that's power. Because I do all of this stuff just to make sure that everybody can have a real fair shot at their own life. Having the proper knowledge and having the proper motivation to do what's right by any means, by any means necessary. Without there having to always be a dollar sign involved. Without there having to be some sort of... It's ulterior motive involved. Doing the right thing is always the right thing because it's the right thing and that's it. And when you got that, you got power. I love y'all. It's the one and only hip hop gamer. I got my man Cortez. The bridge. I got my man Warren Wayne. Quietest cap out now. Uh -huh. One, two, three. The, the bridge. bridge. We out of here. Peace.